Tell me how great I am. Well, what is it? This way, sir. <clears throat> Leo Henderson, local quantity surveyor and captain of the Lower Pampling Panthers. His team just made it through to the semi-finals of the Midsummer C10 Slam. C10? It's uh, 10 overs a side game, originated in Australia. It's been staged all through the week, culminating in a grand final on Sunday. And what do the winners get? A chance to play in the much bigger, more prestigious Australian version. Sounds like a prize worth winning. Anything on time of death? He died less than an hour ago, apparently. That was turned up to maximum. 20 rock hard balls were bowled at top speed, straight at him. If at first you don't succeed. John? Sarah? I need to get my six forms back to school. This is an odd history lesson. I don't suppose you picked up on anything? No, I was too busy enjoying the game. Although I could tell it wasn't everyone's cup of tea. A fair few didn't stay till the end. Do you know who it is yet? Leo Henderson. Oh, no, that's awful. You know him? Well, he single-handedly won the match for Lower Pampling. Hmm. Right, I I'll see you later.
Will she be going on the incident board, sir? Who found the body? He's over here. Lower Pampling's 12th man. He said he went in to put some things away. One Jack Morris. I wonder if I might have a word, Mr... Morris. Call me Jack. Winter, um, talk to um, the team manager and Leo's teammates, uh, see if there was any uh, friction out there on the field, and afterwards uh, talk to his wife, establish whether he had any enemies outside cricket. Now would be good. Yes, sir. Would you like to come with me, sir? I really don't know. I think I played a blinder, but apart from a bit of sledging, Badger's drifted the defeat well. I'm uh, sorry, uh, Wade McMaster, I'm the team manager. Just trying to establish if anything went on between the teams after the game. Well, obviously, no one likes to lose, but that would be pretty extreme. There wasn't any animosity? No, this may be a different version of cricket, but the core values remain the same. Game played by gentlemen. Leo was a big influence on the team. Don't know how we'll recover from this. <sighs> this is different. Just a little. Jack Morris. Now your games master at school taught me cricket. When you found Mr. Henderson, did you touch anything? I'm sure you know me better than that. Well, I thought I did. Mr. Morris. New interview room. I like it. Would you prefer to go to the station? You know I'm not involved. All I did was find the body. Why are you here, Jones? Tricky question. And you know I'd tell you if I could. You turn up in midsummer and you don't think to get in contact. It's awkward. Because you're working. All I'm doing is renting a room off a distant family friend. Whatever it is you're really up to, it can't get in the way of my investigation. I'm just here to take in some cricket, hopefully get a game if I can. We both know you're here for more than that. But this murder takes priority at all times. And if you come across anything connected to it, you have to tell me. Sure. Thank you. I know this is difficult, Mrs. Henderson, but I do need to ask you just a few more questions. Only we are treating this as a suspicious death. Oh, my God. But did you have much contact with Leo after he won the match? Um... No. He was with his teammates. I was in the members' area. Can you think of anyone that disliked him? I'm not sure there was anything to dislike. Thank you for your time. Can I see Mel? Sorry, I'm Serena Lafando. We've been friends since we were kids. I think she'd appreciate that. I know that you've given a statement, but can you think of anyone that held a grudge against Leo? <laughs> well, I know half the village are up in arms about C10. There were even threats sent to Leo and Elliot, my husband. But what sort of threats? Just emails. Well, we didn't tell Mel, we didn't see the point in worrying her. OK, thank you. Mel, I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. I could use a drink. Yeah, I think we all could. Kia's over there. I'll, uh, bring the drinks over. On the house. Just so you know, Fitz, you're out. What? I kept my end of the bargain. You saw that.
Socko dusted the bowling machine for prints. Nothing, wiped clean. Also, his wife and teammates all check out. I'm hoping you have better luck with Jack Morris. His alibi checks out, Jones. I'm Winter, sir. Let's see what Mr Luthando can tell us. This C10 competition has clearly upset someone. Uh, what did they send to Leo Henderson? It was pretty basic. It just said, you're a disgrace. And that was mailed from the same account? Yeah, it was. Stop C10 at bigbrowseemail.co.uk. Thank you. I thought it was just nonsense. I'll get text to take a look at it. Tell me, Mr Luthando, how did you get involved in C10? Ah, I saw it in Australia. I bought the franchise. There's never been anything like this in Midsummer. The healthy crowd would suggest it's going to be popular. And it doesn't eat into your life like five days of dreary test cricket. Some would argue that the beauty of cricket is its gentle pace. <laughs> Excuse me. You're kidding. Not today. Mr. Luthando? Unbelievable. A referendum to try and ban the C10 slam. The council are asking the entire village to come out and vote on it. Who runs the council? Two dinosaurs. Jermaine Troughton and St. John Beechwood. Would that be the same Jermaine Troughton who used to captain England ladies? Hmm. As the old girl lives and almost breathes. She's against C10, I take it. If you want to know who sent these threats, I'd start with her. Mr. Morris. Hello. Again? What can I help with now? We're actually looking for Jermaine Troughton, who I presume is the distant family friend you mentioned. That she is. I was just nipping out, so uh, I'll tell her you're here. Him again. Be back later. Don't try hanging your jacket up when you get back. It's what the hooks are for. Will you come this way? Tell me, Mrs. Troughton, do you know anything about these? Absolutely not. Who were they addressed to? Elliot Luthando. But more importantly, one went to Leo Henderson. We heard you were very much against the C10. And I told Elliot and Leo to their faces exactly what I think. I do not hide behind threatening emails. I've got a referendum that's going to put a stop to all this. Oh, that was your idea? Sinjin and I have listened to a lot of complaints. Anyone specific spring to mind? <laughs> Too many to mention, hence the referendum. You enjoyed uh, an illustrious cricket career, and yet now you want to ban it. Don't you want to keep village cricket alive? Chief Inspector, C10 is not the future of village cricket. It would be the death of it. Mal. Hi, Jack. I meant to come and see you earlier. How are you? Still dazed, can't take it in. I'm not sure any of us can. Leo was one of the good guys. I liked him a lot. Sounds like you've already got company.
Hello? Hello? Good news. Leo is dead. You can come back now. Is there anywhere I won't find you in Lower Pampling? How's Melody? Mrs. Henderson's still pretty shaken up. Did she mention to you that anything had been taken? Uh, she had a look around, but there's nothing missing. You must be pretty um, fit playing cricket. I work at it. Not enough to catch the thief, though. Not for want of trying. Seems odd. Explain odd. Well, you're probably fitter than the average man or woman, and yet, yet you couldn't keep up. Well, maybe they play cricket as well. Maybe. How well did you know Leo Henderson? How is that relevant? I'm curious. I've already discussed this. Not with me. I've been here a couple of months. I got to know him pretty well. He's a great captain and a great batsman. OK. Well, if anything else brings to mind. It won't. OK. A fetch, then. Your investigation, it won't stop the C10 competition, will it? Nice to know where your priorities lie. Ooh, sounds like Daddy's got a tough case. Sorry. It's more something odd happened yesterday. It came a bit out of the blue. Do you need to talk about it? Could keep. Just as well. We need to get moving. Mm. Oh, see you later. Mm. Disappointingly, not a traditionalist. So the impact of the first ball knocked Leo Henderson unconscious, and he fell backwards into the netting. Then more cricket balls were fired at him, and one of them hit his heart full on and stopped it dead. Sounds a bit gratuitous. Or someone in a rage. Thanks, Ken. Cam, have you got a minute? What is it? Probably nothing, but... Barnaby doesn't seem that bothered, but everywhere I turn, I bump into Jack Morris. Is that the good-looking one who found the body? <laughs> good-looking? Uh, that's all the girls in soccer were saying. Look, if you're worried about it, talk to Barnaby. Every time I do, he closes it down. Jamie, that guy checked out. You're seeing things that aren't there. Right. Well, I think that concludes this month's meeting. If I can just remind everyone to cast their votes on the future of C10. Sinjin? We will announce the result on the day of the final. Mm -hmm. Mr. Luthander. I have something for your agenda. What happened to respect? The minute Leo dies, you call for a referendum. It's just a matter of bad timing. Or good timing. I don't quite follow, Mr. McMaster. Well, people are going to feel very uneasy about C10 now. You couldn't have got worse publicity for it. We merely sit on the council. Our stance is completely impartial. I've got a question. Why do you hate C10 so much, St. John? As I said, and clearly, I thought, we are impartial. I'm not talking about we, I'm talking about you. Fitz, calm down. Look, you're going to vote for something. Vote for Leo. He loved this game. Please, please, don't let it die.
check Leo's finances. There's no will and his life insurance is pretty basic. So he wasn't killed for money? But that's where it gets a little confusing. Only I found a receipt for a first-class luxury cruise. I called up the travel agency to check and they confirmed that Leo paid for the trip in cash. £10,000, give or take. But there's been no withdrawal from any of his accounts for that amount? No, sir. There's nothing to tell us where that money came from. And I wonder if his wife can. It's over. They're not going to vote for C10 now, are they? Enough of that with play on, Elliot. You haven't even got a captain. Yes, we do, sis. Fitz. Me? Do it for Leo. I don't know. I... Come on, be my captain. The team needs a leader now more than ever. <laughs> oh, bud. Thanks, Uncle Wade. Happy now? I will be when you get around him. What do you think about that one? Yes. Are you get my messages? Yes. And? Later, OK? Cruise. Oh, Leo. Mrs. Henderson. One of the last times we spoke, he said he had a surprise for me. Wouldn't say what. Expensive surprise. We, uh, we'd had a few problems. Years ago now, he was always trying to make it up to me. When you say problems... Usual stuff. Mrs. Henderson, Leo paid for the trip in cash. We were hoping you could tell us where that money came from. Cash? It's a, a loose end and we'd like to tie it up. We don't have that sort of money lying around. Maybe he got it from a friend, a relative? I suppose Elliot may have loaned it to him. Mr. Luthander, we'd like to know if you gave Leo a cash loan recently. Right, and the reason of £10,000. I wish. This year's profits will only just cover the setup costs. It's more of a long term plan. I'm intrigued, Mr. Luthando. You're running an architect's practice, but you're pursuing the C10. You should try getting planning permission past this council. All Jermaine ever does is reject my submissions. The woman she loathes me. Sounds like C10 is a form of revenge. It wasn't the plan, but now you mention it, I rather like the idea. Hi. C10, a bit more excited than you let on. Yeah. I call this one Scylla. You call them all Scylla. Thank you. You wanted to see me. And what about Kim Butler? We've had this discussion and uh, I'm sorry because you're a good kid and I like you. And... You don't understand. I'm the captain now. He'd booked a luxury cruise. I kept saying to him, you don't have to do things like that. We're fine. We've been fine for years now. I know this is still very raw. It's the anniversary today. Have you been listening to what I'm saying? Well, of course. It's just that it's what we do, Mel. You know that. You can count me out. What? Leo's been murdered. What's the point now? No, you're closing your stance. It's an old habit. It's 
So break it. Broken. Don't get too full of yourself. Your hand-eye coordination just rescued you. Think you'll win the vote to ban C-10? Be close. Well, I'm hopeful. Out. Told you, open your stance. You've got a good eye, but Jermaine might not agree. So how about batting for us in the semi-final? I was thinking you could come in number three or four. Well, I'm more of an opening batsman. You want to take Leo's place? Well, fine, the position's yours. We can hardly prop him up at the stumps, can we? Two games away from a trip to Australia? Yeah, she doesn't know yet, but the old girl's history. I can't help thinking that the wrong person was murdered. Surely it should have been Elliot. Leo is just another player like everyone else on the Lower Pampling 11. What's that doing there? Oh, there's something still bugging me about Morris. I looked for a statement, couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, it should be on my desk. I'm glad you called. Well, I thought I should tell you face to face that um, I've been asked to open the batting for Lower Pampling. Leo's position. I can tell them no. Actually, I, I'd rather it was you than anyone else. It's just a branch. Yeah, didn't think I was a jumpy type. I'd say you've got good grounds. I'll always stay. On the sofa, of course. Won't Jermaine wonder where you've got to? I'll tell her I was practicing for the semi-final. In the dark? I eat a lot of carrots. I've never really lost someone, so I can only imagine what it does to you. Makes you forgive them everything. You focus on the good things. In fact, it's it's like the bad never happened. I doubt there was any bad between you two. No one escapes that, Jack. Look, I know it's not much, but if we make it to the final, I'd like you to come and watch. In that case, you'd better make it to the final.
these threatening emails sent to Elliot and Leo. I've traced them to a computer's IP address. They were sent from the local library. So I compared the times the emails were sent to the times that people came and went from the library. And guess what? It's someone we know. Sinjin Beechwood. We'd better have a word. I thought I'd drop this off on my way in. Leo Henderson's autopsy report. Mm, the personal touch. I like it. <laughs> yes? Can we meet? I'll be there. Ah. You didn't come back last night. No. I, uh... Caught up with an old friend. You, um... You will put a stop to this, won't you? Have you organised a visible police presence for the semi-final? Already done, sir. Oh, good work. <clears throat> if Leo's death is connected to the C-10, we need extra eyes on the ground. I'll be back shortly. What about St. John Beechwood? He can wait for now. See? That's not like Barnaby. There's something definitely going on. OK. Leave it with me. I was really sorry to hear about Sykes. Uh, you asked me to inform you of anything that may help the investigation. But the thing is, if I hand it over... If? What I mean is, I need it back. They want to process what I found back in Brighton. If it was anyone else... John Barnaby, a man amongst men. Found this locked away in Leo Henderson's office. There's five grand in there. Found it how? His widow asked me to stay the night. I slept on the sofa. Won't Melody be missing this? I don't think she knows about it. This was Leo's secret. So the question is, who gave this money to him and why? And if I find that out, do we have the same agreement? Of course. Jermaine's not a distant family friend at all, is she? You know I can't answer that, sir. Hello? Ben! Oh, my goodness! Hey, Sarah? Oh, you thought you'd surprise me, eh? Oh, well, it's a lovely surprise at that. How good to see oh, you. Oh, you too. Oh. Hey, Betty, you've grown. Is that the rabbit I sent her? Yeah, she loves it. She can't sleep without it. Nice to know a godfather got something right. Well, I knew you were the man for the job. John suggested some relative. I can't bear. Mm. Nice to know I got past your selection process, then. Every time. Um, how's your crown? Is she out of hospital? Yeah, thanks. She's fighting fit. OK, good. And how's Kate? A loving the sea views. Excellent. Anyway, back to the matter at Oh, uh, You will be staying for lunch? Yeah, slightly tricky. Jones will call again, I'm sure. Yeah. We, you can't be going. You've only just got here. Sarah, I don't want to say this to you of all people, but you haven't seen me. I don't understand, sir. You can't say where this came from. Not at the moment. Can you ask Camp nicely, of course, to do the forensics on this? Sure. By the way, did anybody Check Melody Henderson's house post the burglary. Socko dusted, that's all. Nothing came back. Then ask Cam, doubly nicely, to go there and check. See if anything was missed. Sir. Hey, you should have come with me yesterday. Would have helped. Helped you or me, though. I thought we had a deal. You weren't going to come and watch till the final, remember? Ah, oh, I wasn't sure you'd make it to the final. Well, I better have a quick net then. You better. Threatening emails. I'm sorry. I'm a complete luddite. You're barking up the wrong tree there. I must get to the semi final. Just a moment, Mr. Beechwood. Before you dash off, you signed in to use the computer at the corresponding times that the emails were sent. We really mustn't tell Jermaine. Jermaine, this is a murder investigation, Mr. Beechwood. This is purely for her, I swear. But why threaten Leo Henderson? Clearly, you've never met the man. Will I be charged over this? Not this time. 
But please don't give me any reason to come back here, Mr. Beechwood. Is everything okay? Uh, yes, absolutely, yes. Mr. Morris? Serena, isn't it? I thought we should have a word. Well, it'll have to be a quick one. Game's about to start. It's just that Mel's pretty vulnerable right now. I think I noticed that. But thanks. I want you to stay away from her. That's not your call. I'm making it my call. So stay out of her house and out of her life. Do you understand? What the hell? Keep your distance, Mr. Morris. I've got some nerve. We're in the eye of the storm, Jermaine. No better place to make a stand. And the Panthers seem to be struggling after electing to field first in today's semi-final. Mm. One ball! Wide! Another wide from the Panthers' captain. That's some of the worst bowling I've ever seen. I've had a bad day, OK? And remember who you're talking to. I'm the captain. And with two overs to go, still holding his own for lower pampling, is newcomer, Jack Morris. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely strike. Oh, He's pretty good, this Jack Morris. Yeah, yeah, he is. Wonder of wonders, you've got the afternoon off. I had some time due. Besides, this game will be quick. <laughs> to be honest, it's good to escape for a bit. It's a tough case that John's working on. Hmm. He seems a bit uptight about it. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm prying where I shouldn't be, but you two are OK. Yeah, we've never been happier. That's what I said to Winter. And there's a ball! <laughs> Another ball! <laughs> he plays some classic shots, your lodger. It's like he's watched some old footage of you in your pomp. <laughs> well, perhaps he has at that. You'll get two there. Mate, what are you doing? You promised me. No, I'll sort it, I swear. Morris needs one more boundary to win. The new guy's too good. Best get him on side before the final. Maybe show me what great captain you are. Yes. Listen up, everyone. I've got a very sombre announcement to make. First drinks are on the house! Yes. My boys did Leo proud. We're in the final. Captain Fantastic. Well, I don't know if I did that much. I am so coming to Australia with you. Well, we're not quite there yet. You'd have made Leo proud batting like that. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Sis, where's Elliot? Where do you think? Work as usual. No, I need some family time. Hmm. I think I don't tell him that. Gin and tonic. Last chance saloon. That was a pretty
pretty special innings. Well, someone had to make up for your bowling. Yeah, listen, about that. You're a smart guy. You knew what I was doing, right? I mean, why to no balls that they tell you to bowl? Counted five in two overs. Yeah, I knew it. I knew you were smart. Also, you haven't told anyone. Which intrigues me. Who am I going to tell? Listen, Jack. I'm going to be open and honest here. I can make you a lot of money. You and me. If we throw the final, we can cash in big time. You got the wrong guy. But you don't understand. I keep screwing up and I need to make this happen. It's just a little crooked, mate. Yeah, it's fit. It doesn't matter how I got your number, look, we need to talk. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Look, um, I'll be back in a bit. Hi. Sorry, I was gonna join you at the pub, I just got a bit bogged down. Never mind. Pounding headache, might have a lie down. Serena. Yes. And I've got C10 all set up and running. I'll have more time. That's taking tree hugging a bit far, isn't it? One Fitzthera, captain of Lower Pampling. Another dead captain. Indeed. Someone had the strength to do that to him. We found evidence that a blunt force was used on top of a sharpened cricket stump several times until he was pinned to the tree. Who found him? Over there. She was on her way to visit a patient in the village. OK, let's get the stump out. Okay, easy. Yep. Easy now. Uh, here we got him. Slowly. Him up. Okay, careful. Like, Just move the body yeah, yeah. across. Okay. On his front. Careful. Um, careful. And, uh, that's it. What's all that? It's the first I've seen of it. Can you get me some pictures? It could be that he was pinned to this particular tree on purpose. Yeah, I want to know where that came from. ASAP, see if there are any missing from the cricket club. Also, check phone records. Who didn't like Fitz? Who last saw him alive? You think it's the same killer? And the second captain to be murdered. It's beginning to look like a poisoned chalice. <clears throat> Barnaby. I'm sorry to do this, but I, I do need to ask you some questions. Did you know the victim? Yes, he was my daughter's boyfriend. So you knew him well? Reasonably. Can you think of anyone that might want to do this to him? <sighs> sorry, I can't. He was a really decent lad. 
I can't imagine anyone who'd want to do this to him. Kia! 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 Shh! I was waiting up for him. I don't understand. Shh! Why was he all the way up here? It's okay. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Cam didn't find any traces or fibres on Fitz's body. Time of death? Around 7pm last night. Also, we don't know what it means, but the notches on the tree, there are exactly 20 of them. The last one made a day ago at most. And the other 19, when were they made? OK, I'm still running tests. Barnaby. Oh, he is. Thank you. Look smart, we have a guest. Sorry, but I'm going to need your help. My bosses have sanctioned that I work openly with you from now on. What bosses? I couldn't tell you before, but Jones was once... you. D.I. Ben Jones. I'm working undercover on a large-scale match-fixing ring. We believe it originated in Australia with the start of C-10 over there, but now it's popping up all over the country, and for match-fixers, it's ideal. The amateur game flies under the usual watchdog radars. I had you down as a suspect. Well, if it helps any, I would have had myself down as one. So what exactly is Jermaine Troughton's role in all this? As far as Jermaine's concerned, I'm Jack Morris. I couldn't infiltrate a crooked team without having a connection to the village, so Jermaine was approached and sworn to secrecy. She agreed as soon as she thought it might put an end to C-10. What I want to know from you is, do you think there's a connection between the murders and match-fixing? I didn't initially, but last night Fitz approached me and openly encouraged me to sign up make myself a lot of money. And then Fitz gets murdered straight afterwards. I'm worried it's because I turned him down. Why'd you do that? Surely that's the break you wanted. I couldn't risk appearing too keen. I was gonna go back today, tell him I'd slept on it. So if Fitz was murdered because you turned him down, what did Leo Henderson do to get himself killed? My guess is he won the quarterfinal. And you think he was bribed not to? It's a hunch, at best. Explain how he paid for the crews in cash. So Leo was meant to have given his wicket away cheaply? More that he didn't score past a certain total. See, the betting works in insidious ways. They back the number of wides bowled, no balls, runs a certain batsman, makes runouts. So it looks as if it's just another game of cricket. Only it's orchestrated. Mm-hmm. We need to know exactly how these bets are being laid. Well, if it's illegal, it could be on the dark web. If Leo and Fitz were murdered by match fixers, then I'm afraid we have to hope that you get approached again, Jones. Hello. Hello. C10 will be lots of business to the village. If I win, we all win. So please think about it carefully. I hope I can rely on you, Peter. Yeah, don't worry. Have you spoken to Kia yet? I haven't had a second. Elliot, some things are more important. You don't understand how wrong you are, Serena. Really, no idea. Hello, lovely. Even if you don't like cricket, think of the profits. Johnny, oh, my. nice to see you. There's no laptop or tablet, and there's no sign of Fitz's phone either. Perhaps his killer took it. But I found invoices for the building work Fitz carried out. Seems Elliot Luthando owes him a lot of money. Mm. Look into Luthando, find out everything you can about him. Maybe he's running the C-10 as a cover for the match fixing. Leo was Elliot's best friend. But Leo didn't play ball, did he? You got a moment? Looks like I have now. You were talking to Fitz yesterday. Poor guy, terrible business. Tragic, but I was wondering, did he say anything to you? Yeah, well played. You're a funny guy. Tell you what, why don't you tell me what you think he said? 
that you could be a valuable commodity. I'm not that guy. Everyone's that guy, for the right price. Look at you. With no job, you're shacked up with that old girl. What is it you get made redundant? Did your wife leave you? <laughs> Leo was barely cold, and you were straight round to Melody's. That's a desperate man. So it was you at her house? I was just looking for what was mine. I paid Leo a lot of money to get himself out early, but uh, he just couldn't resist a shot of glory. And what if I'm made of the same stuff? Don't be a fool, Jack. Everyone wants a better life, especially someone like you. Had someone digging into Elliot's finances, and how about this? He's on the verge of bankruptcy. Mm. Which could make match fixing extremely tempting. Tell us about your relationship with Fitz Thera. There wasn't one. Try a little harder. We know that he worked for you now and then. And you owed him money for work he carried out several months ago. Where were you last night between 6.30 and 7 p.m.? Here. I fell asleep at my desk. Working late, then? Always. We check with the village planning committee. You haven't submitted anything new in the last three months. You're nearly bankrupt. So we'd like to know where you got the finance to put the C10 tournament on. Your information is wrong. Can you tell us what you're working on now, then? That's my business. Winter, unplug Mr. Luthando's computer, would you? Excuse me? We have uncovered evidence of match-fixing and your C-10 slam has been infiltrated. Hang on. The matches were rigged. Two men who we know were involved have been murdered. You have connections to both and no alibi. I'm not a murderer. I'm a gambler. I bet on anything, even the C-10. So please, if you'd be doing me a favor, take it away. When will the result of the vote be announced? Between the innings of the C-10 final. I'm sorry I have to play. No, you're not. But if it helps to catch a match fixer. I'll get it. Who is it? Oh, it's some prankster. I was carbon dating the notches on the tree when one of my team found this. Uh -huh. The petals are fading, so it must have been there before Fitz was killed. Also, I've got an update on the tree. As far as I can tell, the notches were made roughly around the same day every year. And the last notch was made? Two days ago. So, there are 20 notches on the tree, and let's not forget 20 cricket balls were used to bat a Leo. Could be a coincidence. Winter, indulge me, would you? Of course, sir. Go back 20 years. Find out if anything unusual happened in Lower Pampling around that time.
I was going to call you last night. I know Serena warned you off. And she'll have to try harder than that. Any idea who might have left you this? Not really. Not really? I mean, no. I'm not sure I want to find out either. Look, I'll call the police. Do you have to? We don't want to report it. If you don't mind. Butler Styles approached me, then left me this. 15K up front and another 15 after I do what they want. They? Butler can't be the brains behind this. He's the gopher, middleman. Well, all the same, we'll look into him. Now, who else are we looking at? Well, that's the next step. These people are dangerous, Jones. Well, I'm too close to walk away now. Uh, at least do us a favour. What? Then whatever you do, become captain. The last two didn't have a lot of luck. I'll bear that in mind. Oh, by the way. Someone left this for Melody last night. Might be significant. Joe. Hello, sir. Let's ask Sinjin why we keep finding his beheaded flowers. So you might want to take a look at this. That's Melody Henderson, and that's Serena Luthando. With a girl who went missing two decades ago, no less. Scylla Troughton, daughter of retired England cricket captain Jermaine Trout. Hmm. I don't understand. We believe we've found a memorial of sorts to your daughter. I'm sorry, what are you saying? Why would there be a memorial? Would you care to explain these, Mr Beechwood? Only we found one where Fitzthera was murdered. The other was attached to a wreath sent to Melody Henderson. Can you tell us how they got there? What has that got to do with Scylla? Mr Beechwood? I'm sorry, I'm at a complete loss. We saw the beheaded flowers in your garden. And I know you saw them too. Probably vandals. Is there something you'd like to tell us? Has Scylla returned to Lower Pampling? No, of course she hasn't. But no, if she had. You haven't heard from her recently? Not in 20 years. Huh. So you got my little gift then? It's a lot of money. The tip of a very big iceberg. Well, step into my office and I'll give you your instructions. I don't bite. Oh, it's not your bite that worries me. Meaning what? I want to talk to the organ grinder, not the monkey. Now, nah, listen. No, mate, you listen. I don't want to end up like Leo or Fitz. I want guarantees from the top man or woman. It doesn't work like that. This time it did. We've got a problem. Hello? Mel? Serena. That same text. Yes. Serena. They're not moving. Good, now let's get out of here. Hello? Let's just call someone. Hello, girls. Long time no see. 
Sila. That's nice. A little memorial for me. Did you like the ones I left for you? <gasps> Sorry, did I scare you? I don't understand. Why are you here? And why have you called us to the tree? Because this is where you left me. Curled up. Crying. Begging. When did you get back? You're asking the wrong question, Mel. Listen! Can you hear it? That's the sound of your scared hearts pounding. Count the beats. Go on. Then add them together. And then you'll get a sense of just how frightened I was when you left me here 20 years ago. So you're here to get your own back. You know the deal! Well, put it down to the not uncommon fear of being killed. I'm laughing so hard right now. Let's do this face to face. Wait. You got two choices, Jack. One, you fix the match. Or two, I fix you. Don't screw it up, Captain. Captain? I'll throw that in with the deal. Silla. We spoke to her mother. She had no idea she was even back. Talk us through what happened last night. We know that Scylla disappeared 20 years ago, but we don't know why. We were friends. The three of us. Inseparable. We had our own code, our own rules. All for one and all that. But it clearly didn't last. Mel married young. Leo was the prize catch. The one all the girls wanted. And then, after a while, he looked elsewhere. To Scylla. They had an affair. Tore Mel's heart out. All those years of friendship reduced to nothing. So, we went after Scylla. We drove her to the outskirts of the village in the dead of night. Screamed, shouted. And we told her, don't ever come back. 
But why the memorial? After she left, we regretted what we'd done. We tried to find her, but we couldn't. Time went past and we started to think something must have happened to her. And now she's back. You need to speak to your mother. What happens if she bumps into Serena or Melody and they tell her they've seen you? Imagine what that would do to her. She did a lot worse to me. She misses you. I've missed you too. I know that. And you've always been like a father to me. But you need to let this go. Is Scylla Troughton staying here? Come in. I went for a walk last night. Arrest me. You left two women terrified. <laughs> Poor them. I'd like to hear your version of what happened 20 years ago. I fell for the wrong man, yet I was the one hounded out of the village. They say it takes two to tango. Not in this case. When did you come back to Lower Pampling? After Leo was killed. Trust me. We'll still need to know your whereabouts at the times of both murders. I didn't even meet Fitz, let alone know him. Scylla, we know you have a police record for stalking. We ran a check on you. Ten years ago, you had a restraining order placed on you. A family complained that you kept showing up everywhere they went. Is that all you've got? Like it or not, you're involved in a murder investigation, Scylla. Well, you've got it wrong. Don't leave the village without letting us know. Listen, you mustn't be angry. Scylla. I told you, I don't want to see her. Wade McMaster approached Jones last night. He's the brains behind the match fixing. Butler Stiles is his right hand man. Question is can we put either of them at the scenes of the murders? The tech team went through Elliot Lissando's computer. They found a link to a gambling site taking bets on the C10 slam. Have they managed to get an IP address? Yeah, no match with Wade or Butler's computer. Who then? They're tracing it now. Why am I here? <clears throat> you do know what you've been doing, don't you, Keir? Helping my uncle. You've been working on his betting site. That's a crime. It is when it's match fixing. The odds are crooked. The games are fixed. No. My uncle Wade wouldn't do that. He wouldn't. Your boyfriend Fitz was also involved. It might be why he was murdered. It's true, Kia. But, but last time I saw him, he had a plan. We were going to Australia for the C-10 trip. Possibly on illegal proceeds. No. Fitz would have told me. He couldn't. Your uncle wouldn't allow that. Kia, your father places bets on Wade's gambling site. He's almost bankrupt because of the losses he's incurred. Your uncle has all but wrecked your parents' lives. And he could be linked to both murders. You could help us, Kia. I don't understand. I don't know what to say. Where have you been? What have you been doing? That's a good question. Cleaner, dishwasher, oh. barmaid. I've had to be to survive. You never thought to come home. To what exactly? So why are you here now? 
I got tired of seeing you on your own, Jermaine. I couldn't bear it. So a few months ago, I set about looking for Scylla. You kept that from me? Sinjin tracked me down. He thought he could make things better. I hoped so too, but when I got back, I just couldn't face you. How could you just disappear? Every time the phone rang, I thought it might be you. You seriously thought that? After what you did? I called you that night. After Serena and Mel were so horrible. I needed to be somewhere safe. I never really understood what was happening. You didn't even listen. You said no. I don't want you here. <sighs> Living together was hopeless. Never worked. I don't want you here. Those were your words. And then you hung up on me. Well... Here I am. We could try again, couldn't we? I knew this was a mistake. Sign upstairs, sir. Try the back? Yes, sir. They picked up Butler, but Wade's gone AWOL. All local forces are on alert. Now, killing Leo, I can understand. But Fitz played his part. He bowled his wives and his nobles. He didn't let them down. So why kill him and then risk their entire setup by approaching a new player in Jones? You don't think the murders are linked to the match fixing, do you, sir? It doesn't add up. What have you got for me? Well, this is the file on Scylla's restraining order. So it wasn't the family that she kept trying to see, but more specifically, their adopted son. And how old is this child now? 19. Which means he was conceived 20 years ago. That number keeps coming up, sir. Do you think this is Scylla's son? If it is, it's likely that Leo is the father. Odd no one mentioned it. Indeed. I suspect we may find the answer at the C-10 final. I see you've been washing your own kit. For once. They even hung my jacket up. That's got to be worth a gold star. Aren't you going to wish me luck? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever final of the Midsummer County Premier League C10 Slam. Serena, please. Your brother. He made fools of us all, Serena. Oh, well, he wasn't the only one to fool us, was he? At least he didn't gamble away all our money. Jones out there. I didn't know we were looking for him. We're not. <laughs> okay. Oh, you come to watch the final? This is a work visit, I'm afraid. I knew you were a modernist. We noticed Ben isn't playing. Isn't he? Oh, 
There's cars here. Done to you. You're going to regret this. I promise you. No answer. I need a last known triangulation on the phone number I'm about to send you. We're on, sir. You better go. Sinjin. Chief Inspector. There's something that's been worrying me. Why now? Why decide to track Scylla down now after all these years? What happened? I'm sorry. I should have told you. Texted me. You come alone. Where have you been? I know how to hide. I might beg to differ. This is for making me believe in you. We've got you on a series of match fixing counts. But what I want to know is where have you got Jones? Jones? Who's Jones? Jack Morris. We bit the game, won't he? Winter. I've got the triangulation back. I know where Jones is. Just so you know, your grip's all wrong. One more innings. Jermaine. That was some risk you took, living with a policeman while trying to get away with murder. Dear, it wasn't planned. Just a spur of the moment thing. Red mist descending. You need to learn to count to ten. What did Leo do that upset you so much? I never had any time for him. This wasn't about C10, was it? I don't know what you mean. We know about your grandson. Scylla's son. He contacted you, didn't he? He was looking for his mother. And you couldn't help him? Couldn't offer him a single thing. So I went to see Leo. Find out whatever he knew about his son. Turned out he'd known about him all along. All he was worried about was Melody finding out. <laughs> he threatened me. He said if she did find out, I would be very, very sorry. But after the quarterfinal, you sought Leo out again. I was so angry. So uncaring about Scylla. So arrogant, boasting about his great innings. <laughs> I kept thinking about Scylla's life, my life. How they could have been so much better. I just wanted to shut him up. And the bowling machine was right there. Tell me about Fitz. He was just outside the practice area when I killed Leo. I had no idea until he phoned me. And he wanted money. Lots and lots of money. And what about me, Jermaine? I thought you knew. The way you looked at me this morning, you... And the stump. My test match trophy stump. It's been on the wall and it wasn't there anymore. The stump you used to kill Fitz. You're a policeman. You must have worked it out. I thought you knew. I didn't even notice, Jermaine. Oh, Mum! 
No, no, take her away. I don't want her to see me like this. You heard from my son. What did he say? Did he ask about me? He was looking for you. There's no way that I could help him. I... You knew how much I regretted all those years. I called you that night. I was trying to tell you that I was pregnant and all you had to do was listen. And you didn't. What have you done? I am so sorry for everything. I really let the side down, didn't I? And you. It was your head. Very amusing. Thanks for the help with Wade. Any time. Uh, wait, please. Uh. There's something I want to give you. Should have given it to you years ago. No. Take it. The house is yours. Take it. I want you to be safe. And I want your son to be safe. I know he wants you to call him. Look after him. Like I should have looked after you. As promised, the results of the C-10 referendum. Those in favor of C-10, 188. Those against? 181. Yes. The win. Be to stay. Don't get too excited, Elliot. Kieran, I'll be running things from now on. Serena. I'm going to find Scylla. It's time to apologise properly. Are you coming? <laughs> How's that? Clean, bold. Jermaine. I'm not sure he should even be playing. Well, if he collapses, I'm a doctor. Of sorts. Maybe I should introduce you two properly after the game. What do they need? A six. Better hold his nerve. His nerve will be fine. He was very well trained. Australia, here you come. Australia? Oh, I doubt that. 
Well done, Jane. Thank you. are being subtle? Oh, I'm out of practice. I'm not used to being single. Single? Wait, you finished with, uh, what's his name? You never said that. You never asked. Should we get the beers in? So, how are you finding him? Does he still stand there and do that weird squinty when he's thinking? Oh, yeah, loads. I thought he was short-sighted at first. Never calls you by your first name. I don't think he knows what it is. You never know what he's thinking. Yeah, we're not mind readers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ben? And, um... Jamie, sir. Jamie. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. So, a little bird tells me you've not been yourself lately. I finally realised the future isn't actually on its way. In truth, it's already arrived. Ah, Paddy, my boy. You were right all along. We've got to move with the times. <laughs> <laughs>